Brainbox presents How to Learn Anything 10 Times Faster. So it is imperative for all of us to start investing some of our precious time on developing the skill of fast learning. Trust me, no one wants to be 100 years old when they finally achieve their dreams. Throughout history, learning has always been a critical element in evolution and success. Today however, it's no longer about learning, instead, it's all about learning fast. You see, in order to make it in today's competitive world, you have to learn faster than the rest. Think about this. If you could learn 10 times as fast as ordinary people do, you'll be within just one year, what it takes them 10 years to reach. Here are six simple steps I hand-picked for you from the very best productivity and learning giants that will help you learn faster than ever. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing so you won't miss interesting videos like this. 1. Find a motive. I believe this is the most important one of all, because if you don't have the inner drive to learn something, you'll never going to do it. And I think a common mistake is, when people randomly choose a new skill and decide that that's what they want to learn, and after a few days or even weeks of learning, they don't feel the desire to continue anymore. To prevent that from happening to you, you have to find integrate the skill you want to learn into a broader vision, your life vision. Find out exactly how learning this new skill is going to bring you closer to your desired goals in life. So the very first rule in fast learning, and the most important one too, is to figure out what you want and have enough reasons to follow through with it. 2. Make learning a habit. Learning is all about consistency. So in order to get good at something fast, you have got to make practicing it a daily habit. And instead of working on something just once a week for 10 hours straight, try learning it by small chunks for one hour every day, and you'll see a huge difference in the quality of your learning, you'll remember so much more this way. The key to build any habit is commitment, a non-negotiable commitment. Just take the option of not doing it every day off your list of options, even if you had to stay up all night to hit your daily goal. So make sure to build up a strong habit of learning. 3. Celebrate your progress on small milestones. This has two major benefits. The first one is that it will help you massively stick to learning for a period long enough to get recognizably good at what you want to learn. As we are feeling the progress we are making which excites us and drive us to keep moving forward. The second thing is it'll help us better identify where exactly what exactly we have problem with and how on we optimize our learning as those milestones also play the role of checkpoints in our learning journey. 4. Teach what you're learning. This method have served me many times in the past, as it helps you pinpoint exactly what you still don't understand well enough and what you need to work on. On top of that, when you try to explain something to someone who doesn't understand it, you use simple terms and various metaphors to bring the picture closer to them right? Well that a huge advantage, because when you use concepts and references you already have to understand something new, it stick right to your memory. I got this idea from Tony Robbins, who in fact, has the best definition of learning I ever came across. The creation of a relationship between two things, one you already know and the one you don't understand and trying to learn. 5. Constantly fetch feedback. In order to prevent yourself from making the same mistake over and over again, which can make your learning process go much slower than it can be, it is wise to ask a professional for feedback on what you do, get him to tell you what was good and what wasn't in your practice. The professional can be a coach you hire, or just someone you know who already mastered what you are trying to learn. Just remember. Expert mentorship never hurts. 6. Always experiment. In order to find the best learning strategy for you, you have got to keep trying different techniques, work with different teachers and implement various methods. This way you can identify what is working best and what isn't, then just follow what Ty Lopez always says. Double down on what works and eliminate what's not. Follow these steps, don't just know them do them, and I promise you'll find yourself flying through the stages of learning anything way faster than the norm. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. As always, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.